so many buttons, Leah. I look, there we are. Yeah. I see us. Just just like that, we're right there. We're live, Leah. Oh, there's our numbers. I was like, where's our numbers? <laughs> they were down somewhere. Further. They were hiding. The hiding of the numbers. Hiding. So you know what I think we could do with this? Well, maybe maybe closer to Halloween. Maybe I'll make one of these and put it on a headband. We should ask Andy if she wants one. I might have headbands at home already. That's great. Can you please bear that? Can we just make a, a classroom rule where we always have to wear these cute little things on our heads? Sometimes uh, fun hats and my hair don't agree because my hair likes to go straight up under said hats. Mm. It's kind of a problem. That's fair. Yeah. So welcome to my sewing room on Two for Tuesday. <laughs> I'm Chelsea and that's Leah. <laughs> Do I get to be Leah today? That sounds fun. Okay, I'm Leah and that's Chelsea. Chelsea got into lots of trouble today. <laughs> Leah got into lots of trouble today. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Neither of us caused any trouble or w were a part of any trouble today. Yet. Yeah, I still have home time. Yes. Like, like what kind of trouble can I cause at home? I might embroider tonight. You know, I, I am excited for that because I could sew tonight. Right? I have no boyfriend at home for the week, so. Mm. Well, I have people at home, but... It's hot out. They'll be quite happy to, like, couch potato downstairs. <laughs> I love that. But what about the community garden? Hmm. I might have to swing by and water water my plants in the community yeah. garden. It's supposed to be a heat wave again. Yeah. Which means I'm in for a lot of watering this week. Yes. Much, much watering. <laughs> much well, watering. Much watering. <laughs> <laughs> However, picked my first couple tomatoes off my tomato plants this weekend. Oh, yeah? They're super far behind everything from a few, like, last year compared to last year. Everything's way behind. Same. The fresh tomatoes? Mmm. So delicious. <laughs> They're fantastic. Our tomatoes are ready. Yeah. Just a couple of my cherries. Mm -hmm. A couple of my cherry tomatoes. Little babies. I've got to say, like, the plants grow in. There are lots of tomatoes on the vines, but only a couple were ready. So many tomatoes. So, two for Tuesday today is not what was originally scheduled. We're changing it up a little bit. That's moving to Thursday. Um, so if you're here to see double gauze sewing, it's happening Thursday. Because we needed some double gauze with patterns on it so you could see right sides and wrong sides. And I will completely admit that that stayed at my house this morning. Because I was thinking about other things when I left home. So we'll move that to Tuesday. But we'll talk flat belt seams and French seams on Thursday. Techniques. That'd be fun. So for Tuesday, we're talking about new things and not new things and other other things in the store. So you guys saw pumpkins. What day? We did pumpkins on a tools and techniques Thursday with the yes, punch tool. We were showing off the punch tool, tools and techniques. So Chelsea's got one more pumpkin. Um, if you guys buy any OESD embroidery designs from us this month, OESD or scissor tail stitches like the llamas, which we embroidered last week, uh, you'll get the pumpkin design for free. Um, and what we're... What we were thinking is, um, it would be really cute on a headband. <laughs> I think we have to do this. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> sure it needs to happen. The weekend and going just, to Thanksgiving. Yeah, and I'm like, I might even be able to swing a headband through there and just glue the pumpkin. I, I have thoughts. I you totally could the way it's the way it's assembled. I think I think Maybe. you can make it work. You have some pretty close nublets. Niblets. What are these called? Buttons. But buttonets. Your buttonets are very close together. And one of them goes into a V, and then you have another one right there. So maybe... Yeah. Do you have a metal headband? No. I don't know. Hot glue gun. Velcro. Hot glue gun solves all problems. If you use Velcro, you could detach it and put something different on next time. Oh, that'd be cute. That'd be cute. Vel uh, Velcro might get stuck in the hair. Put I'm the... super careful. Put the... Hook side up. Yeah, and the loop facing your hair. Yeah. Yeah, then if you miss it, it's not so awful. <laughs> so did you know if you need <laughs> different amounts of hook tape and loop tape because you only want, like, the hook side on your headband one time, 
but you want to have the loops on multiples, we sell them separately. We sure do. In many widths. In many colors. Well, black. Black and white. Black and white. Not many colors. Black and white. <laughs> Two colors. Two colors. <laughs> but, but many sizes. But there is there is times when you're putting Velcro onto something where you need way more of one side of that Velcro than the other. So we do sell that separately by the meter, which is lovely. Because um, I know lots of times I buy like meters and meters and meters of one side and like inches of the other. So you're why the rules are different sizes. Yes, I am. <laughs> What are we going to do with her? <laughs> uh, find friends who need the opposite arrangement. Yes, yeah, so that's probably what we need to do. <laughs> yep. Um, so that, uh, hook and loop tape for making ridiculous headbands. Uh, one one option. Um, things coming up here in the store that you guys should be aware of. We've mentioned it a couple times already. Um, we're going to keep mentioning it because it's our favorite time of year. Um, or... OESD things. So OESD um, is main our main supplier of embroidery designs, stabilizer, and they are a supplier of isocord thread. Um, they have a holiday promotion starting September 1st, where each month there is a free CD with purchase of $89 of product. So if you are needing thread or stabilizer or design CDs or scissors or uh, alligator clamps, or OSD tea lights, or button clips, or tea towels, or blanks, or tiling seam kits. Um, any of those things will that are up to that eighty-nine dollars will get you the free CD for the month. So the first month is the cards, and they are adorable, and the ornaments. Yeah, I got to show all the cards though. Oh yeah, yeah, fair. Gotta do them justice. So when Anne did these, she actually put in um, felt. Felt is beautiful to embroider on. It's it holds so stitching so, so nicely. And it gives such nice texture. You don't have to stabilize nearly mm -hmm. as heavily when you've got felt in behind your project. Yeah, it makes this card quite sturdy. But it'll still go through the mail. Yes, it will definitely fit through the mail. And it's sturdy and it's not just going to, you know, we've punched a lot of holes in it. Yeah. And it still has its integrity, which is awesome. Yeah. This one. This one might be my favorite. Let it snow. And you can make your cards for Christmas. So even if everybody you know doesn't get a handmade gift, everybody could get a handmade card. Well, I believe that Leah might get those <laughs> done in January. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how that's how twenty Christmas twenty twenty one went. Maybe yeah. Christmas twenty twenty two will be more it's more ahead scared. of the game. They're adorable. Okay, this one's my favorite though. Oh, it's so a little tree. We wish you made yeah, birds. Right? So cute. Thank you. Do we have another Merry Christmas? Oh, and this one should go last. Because it'll lead us into the, the other CD. Right? Oh, well, that's sideways. <laughs> that's upside down. <laughs> Don't look at the at the computer while we're trying to rotate that around. And then we see all these lovely little houses. They look very familiar to the other thing in front of us. Switch. Oh, you made a village. Yeah, made a... that's cute. They can't see my village. Really can't see my village. Yes. Nope. Village is at the wrong place on the table. Yeah, row. I don't know where it needs to be here. I I think your camera needs to be back. There's a village. So these houses and the trees. And the little together sign um, are the free CD for October. There, Anne made them all out of felt. Um, there's also a white snow backdrop for the back. Um, but they all have a place for a little LED tea light. So they will light up. How cute would that be on a mantle? So I, cute. And they're quick to that. stitch out. They're, they're really, really quick to stitch out because there's not a lot of detail stitching. Um, again, made with felt, so they're nice and sturdy. And... They're adorable. They're way too cute. Yeah. So that's the October CD. There's a November CD that has the same feel as the first two. Oh, we didn't show our ornaments. Nope. You got all excited about showing the village. I really did. Okay, this one, though. Imagine if you put glitter in this one. Because it has uh, the clear vinyl on top. So you could totally fill this with glitter. Then the kids could shake it. Or you could put little names in there. Yeah. Before you... 
hopefully cover it up with embroidery. That'd be really cute. Okay, sweet. Sorry, I get very distracted. Here's this one. And so these are ornaments oh. that'll hang in your tree. So freestanding applique again. The houses are so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> Home for the holidays. Maybe or, this year will be the first year you get to actually spend Christmas with family in a couple years. Or maybe we'll go skating with them. Ah, the little midden is so adorable. It's really cute. Actually, you know, you could totally put baby's first Christmas on this little midden. <gasps> and then a I have a very new nephew that will need those kinds of ornaments. <laughs> I think you will. You could make them all. I could. Or you could put it on this tree. So cute. Or you could have a little poinsettia. I like yeah. it. Freestanding lace in the corners. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. So, uh, that's part of the OSD stuff going on. Um, other OSD things, unfortunately, there is a price increase coming on Isocord thread and OSD stabilizers. Um, we're supposed to do that September 1st, but we want you guys to be able to get that free CD with the cards and the ornaments um, right early in the month without, um, you know, having to face that price increase. So we're extending that price increase. Uh, we're not going to do it until September 5th. So you have a couple days right at the beginning of September to get the design for free and current pricing on thread stabilizers and all that. Yay! Stuff. That's exciting. So you'll have thread at right now prices. To stitch all these things through the holidays. You know, I don't own an embroidery machine yet, but I might have to buy all the thread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I can get this free CD because it's really cute. Right? And then you have something to make the moment you get an embroidery machine. Um, did you know we have an event coming up that if you don't own an embroidery machine yet, uh, you could come embroider in store? Yeah. You can come hang out with us for a couple days. Um, we have an OSD event coming uh, September 30th and October 1st called Stitching in the Kitchen. So I talked to one, one young lady today who's like, oh, I'm thinking I'd like to be able to embroider. Um, what does that look like? I don't know much. So if, you, if you're in the, I think I might want to try embroidery, but I don't know enough to know if I want to jump in and actually buy a machine, come join us for Stitching in the Kitchen. Um, mm -hmm. The event is two days being taught by an OSD educator. We'll also have a Bernina Canada educator in the building. Yay! Um, and then the rest of our in-store education team um, here to support you guys so that you can have success with your first attempt at embroidery. You'll get all sorts of information under your belt. So if you're if you've kind of been thinking, oh, maybe I want a machine, come try it before you buy one. Yeah, come play with it. Come for play for like with. 16 hours. Yeah, do it with support. We're not just sending yeah. you home with a box with no instructions. You can come hang out with us. Pick the machine you, you think you really are into. Tell us roughly what brand you feel like you're more compatible with. And... Yeah, and hoop sizes, if you can tell. Well, you might not know that yet. What kind of projects you want. You might not know that yet, and that's okay. Sure, it's okay. That's why we're here. Yeah, so we'll help you find a machine if you decide you want to carry forward and embroider all these things for yourself over the holidays. Yeah. And well, I think because that event overlaps the two months, you might be able to come into that event... If you buy some things in the event, mm. uh, free CD, you, maybe both. If you put purchase, uh, there's potential for both because our event overlaps two months. <laughs> Fancy, <laughs> right? I like that. <laughs> it's gonna be an awesome event. Yeah, and then more if you if you want just more information on embroidery, stabilizers, all sorts of things. Um, embroidery essentials on September 29th, mm -hmm. also being taught by Tamara Evans. She's fantastic. Definitely going to really listen on that one. I can learn more about stabilizers. I think everybody can learn more about stabilizers, even people who embroider like five days a week. There's yeah. still stuff you learn and still stuff that I don't know yet because I haven't tried it yet. You know everything. No. I'm really good at finding the information I need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luann. It was a good way of, good way of doing that. That's a um, really good way. So other things, if you want more information on different kinds of things, maybe you're totally not into embroidery. That's totally fine. <laughs> we have something else for you guys. Um, if you fall into the quilting camp, we have a new class starting September 1st. 
It's first. It's a year long. Oh, it's not even a year long. It's 13 months long. It's like a baker's dozen year. It's a baker's dozen. <laughs> yeah. 13 months. <laughs> um, it's called Patchwork in Paradise. It is a mystery quilt. Mystery novel. Written by our own long armor, Barb. Um, mm -hmm. You didn't need to have um, attended and read the first book. Now, nope. for Aunt Annie's, we could still get you signed up for Aunt Annie's if you think the mystery quilt thing is a, is a riot. Um, but 13 months, you'll get a chapter of the book every month, a new block every month to, to add into the quilt, an assembly class at the end so you don't leave with a whole stack of blocks that make no sense. Yep. And there's some funky bonus things in there. Mm. Can't tell you which those are. I know what they are. Well, yeah, but it's a mystery <laughs> quilt, so they can't know. <laughs> That's part of the excitement. We can tell you they're good. Um, and you will definitely learn some new skills. I can tell you that. You will learn some new skills because Barb covers a wide range of things it's in true. all those quilt blocks. So the question I have is, if you're going to play along, which colorway would make you happy? I'm going to activate our poll, Leah. Okay, we'll, we'll do the full tour. So your registration fee for the class is to pick the kit that you want. Uh, there's three different colorways. Uh, sand and sea. It's very pretty. I like it. Uh, tropical nights. Nights, maybe I'll move mine to the village out of the way. <laughs> Your village is in the way, Leah? My village is in the way. It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> and hot, hazy days. So hot, hazy days is limited. There's only a select number of kits being made in this colorway. Mm -hmm. But the other two, mostly unlimited. As many people as want can sign in and play with that one. So if we switch to this one. Uh, we have a question up in the poll. This one back? Sure. Um, if you were to play along... Mm -hmm. Which colorway makes you happy? You can answer that question. Um, yep, one for sand and sea. We can we can see your answers. We can't see who answered though. No. Two for sand and sea. Interesting. Ooh. Oh, and uh, two on YouTube as well. But I can't I can't see what they voted for until we close the poll. Oh on no. YouTube. Nope. There's two votes over there. Sorry. There's two votes over there. And two votes over well, here. Well, there's three votes on YouTube. Now. <gasps> Ooh, and three votes on Facebook. Throw it in the comments. Answer the poll. Yeah. I'm excited. Right. Wait, which one would you pick, Leah? Okay. Next question. Which color, which color way do you think I would pick? Does it match both my shirt and my hair? <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's great. I love that. This is a little more purple than my shirt, but uh, middle one. Miss the name. Oh. Tropical Nights. Sandy's in for Tropical Nights, too. Tropical Fabulous. Nights. Fabulous. Um, there is a small contingent of people who thought I would pick this one. It has bright orange. Yeah, it does. It this does. This is very much like Leah colors right through here. Mm. See, and I'm very much color right up in here. All the teal and aqua. Yeah. But I think I would also have to go for Tropical Nights. Right? It just, it speaks to me with this purple and orange moment. I'm just loving it. Anyway, there's not a wrong answer. There isn't. Everyone's taste is different. Everyone's taste is different. Which is why we have two and different every, colors. And everybody's quilts are going to be different. Because yes. it's not a super exact science as to which fabrics go where in your quilt. So there is some flexibility um, in each block each month as to how you put those together. Um, there's a couple more like background suggest like suggested this is goes here kind of fabrics in the mix, um, but lots of it you get to play with color yourself. Most definitely, which is lots of fun. I can't wait to see what everyone does. I know, I know. I It'll get the good. best part. I gotta hang out in class with everyone. Right. So that's the <laughs> other part of this. If you're not comfortable um, stitching through some of these blocks on your own. We have in-store participation for that class that happens every month on the yep. third Tuesday of the month. So you can come in in-store. Uh, Chelsea's in there for classroom support while Barb teaches um, the Zoom class. And then if you have a week, uh, I don't know, through the winter where you're like, nah, 
The roads in Calgary are bad. I don't want to come to the store. You can still join us online. You're not going to sure miss can. class. And I know it's really hard to plan a whole year of your life in advance. Totally. And there's always that fear that, like, what if something comes up and I'm occupied the third Tuesday of the month? We're recording. For sure. So you'll be able to watch the recorded content to get through that block. And it'll be available about a week after the class. Mm. But you'll be able to keep up and get all those blocks done. So I know Aunt Annie's was a blast. That was the first mystery novel we did. This one is going to be even better. Uh, what does it cost? Is two ninety nine Canadian, mm -hmm. and they will be recorded. As always, yes. that's the important part. We like to record everything because then you guys can go back if you missed a step, or you learned how to make one of the thing in class, but you need four. You'll have the recording to go back through. Most and definitely. Then, there's going to be lots of other tips and tricks and all sorts of things. There are some extras. There are some extras. <laughs> and I want to say them so bad. Nope. I can't. That's why I'm pumpkined. <laughs> That's why you're pumpkined. <laughs> That's why I'm pumpkined. <laughs> yeah, I have to hold the pumpkin. <laughs> right? Um, other classes coming up. Maybe you don't want to make a quilt. Maybe you don't want to embroider. But maybe you want to do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Our Tools of the Trade class um, with Patty starts September 17th, mm -hmm. and it's a three-day class, and you will be making a rather large tote bat that will carry a cutting mat. That's what? That's... Oh, uh, 18 by 24? 18 by 24! That cutting mat! A bag big enough to hold this cutting mat, so it doesn't get wrecked in transit like this one did. Especially if you're coming to hang out with us for, uh, you know, Patchwork in Paradise, you might need a really big gutting mat. Right. And then, well, you can go shopping after. Because you don't have to hold your stuff. It's great. It's perfect. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's... that. I can't wait for that class. Right? We're going to go over some really cool stuff. Yeah. We're going to do some quilting. Fold over elastic. Binding. Sewing with mesh. You stuck mine. Sorry. Putting in zippers? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's, it'll be good. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really, really excited about that one too. So there's more stuff coming for the fall. It's just waiting for product to get here so we can move forward in a timely manner. Yeah, I think we have a whole bunch of hardware coming in. Purse hardware. Mm -hmm. We have some funky new buttons coming too. We'll show you guys as soon as new stuff crosses our threshold. I Cannot. But we have so what, we have some new things to show today. Yeah, we do. Let me move that away. Oh, well, back for compared. So hello, that made it back here too. Yeah, nice. I, I took the whole display off the floor. You really did. I really did. Mia's gonna do it. She's gonna do it well. <laughs> I'm gonna take everything off the Get floor. Get that at all. Uh, fabric in behind us today is called Spirited. Yeah, Spirited. Um, we had somebody pick up the horse panel Friday night as I was leaving. Mm -hmm. and she pulled like some great grunge fabric to go with it and figured out uh, we have a whole bunch of patterns that coordinate with panels. So if you're not sure what to do with all these great panels, um, when you see them, we have probably a dozen patterns that are designed to work with panels where you just yeah. build out some borders to make a quilt the size you want. So don't be afraid to ask for that. If you see a panel you love and you're like, but what do I do with it? Um, lots, lots, lots. You can use it as backing if you want to. You want to do a piece quilt front and panel on the back? Yeah. It'd be so sad to hide that horse behind my project. But then it's a two-sided quilt. True story. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> but every, exactly. everybody who everybody who <laughs> buys it will have like a favorite side, yes. or like whoever you give it to will have a favorite side. And it might not be the side you put all the effort into. Well, then every time you go over, you just go and flip, flip it over. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's an option. <laughs> so, yeah, that's some of the new stuff coming through the day. Oh, sorry. I had to bring this in closer. You can't see it over there. I don't know if you can see it over here. We might have to put it on the close-up, Leah. Because this is part... Oh, you can see it, I think. They're brush stroke horses. Those are horses. <laughs> we need to go this way. I think we do. They're beautiful. 
and there's that one and one in teal which is so from a fabric. from a fabric standpoint this would read as a blender fabric where mm -hmm. from a distance it just looks um just looks beige-ish um but up close it's got it's it's scrumptious like and it's soft yeah like yeah, it, feels it is really nice it has a nice feel sometimes you get some fabrics in and you're like hmm feels a little rough no this can't feels... imagine this but i think when this washes up yeah it is going to be delectable yeah so maybe you love horses. Maybe this is what you're going to make your tools of the trade bag out of. That'd be so cute. Right. Well, and you have all these lovely blenders that would work great. Right. This is the one I got. Of course, it has to be the full-on teal piece. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> I might have to make myself might a bag. Your hair might have to be teal so people know what color you like. Uh, it might have to. But then... Well, that teal doesn't show up on that camera. No, it sure doesn't. It doesn't do it justice, Leah. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. I like it. All right. I'm just going to... Nobody else can buy it. It's <laughs> mine. And Patty's, Patty's looked at all the other things that we're doing in her class. Straps and sewing magnetic snaps. Oh, yeah. All good skills to have on your belt. Sewing magnetic snaps are incredibly handy. Right? You never know when you might need magnetic snaps. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe on a pair of rip-away pants. <laughs> I don't know what you need rip-away pants for, but okay. I don't know what I need them for either, but maybe I may need to learn how to make some so I can show off cool uses for magnetic snaps. I suppose. I think I broke Leah. Yep. <laughs> oh. Nope, I got nothing. Oh, new things from Brother. They're up on our website. Uh, there's new air thread surgery coming. Oh my god. The Airflow 3000. I've that watched some of the dealer videos. Uh, it's lovely. It's lovely. I can't mm -hmm. wait to get my hands on one. Um, expected to arrive in November. Mm -hmm. uh, XP3, the Luminar 3, is expected in November. Some of the other new releases are expected in September. I so, think one of them might have been a new magnetic hoop. Yeah, that one's a little further out. Okay. Yeah. A little further out. But there is some ready. new machines as well. Yes. So new embroidery, new sewing, mm -hmm. new combo machines in the entry level lineup. So there's some cool stuff in there. Not okay. entry level, but like not your bottom price point, but not very high up the chain. There's some really cool advances on some of the embroidery machines too. And pretty much all of them have Wi-Fi mm -hmm. capability for sending designs from your computer. Yeah, so if you're that person that always loses their thumb drive, <coughs> Leah, uh, the Wi-Fi <laughs> capability will be great. Makes it so you don't have to use that anymore. <laughs> Leah's always, where's my thumb drive? <laughs> I know exactly where the one at home is. It's it's a thing here that I have trouble with. It's okay. I always know where the one is here. So we're a good team. <laughs> if you'd like to come hang out with a person. Please do. There's one more thing we should talk about. Ooh. A real good time to hang out with us in person. A real good time to hang out hang with out us with in person. Hang out with both of us. <laughs> uh, this is a very, very, very empty tray. Oh, those are too big. Nope. Doesn't and go with the wrong it. theme. Uh, so this lovely tray is the North Pole tier tray. Mm -hmm. It's a Kimberbell event. Uh, there's ornaments that fit on all these layers that you're going to make in class. I think there's like 12 of them. There's so many. There's so many. And we're going to have a good time in class. Yeah. It's going to be great. So get signed up for that. Um, we do need to close the registration for those Kimberbell events about a month out. So class is October 26th and 27th. Um, you can sign up on our web store. It's on the calendar. Uh, North Pole Tier Tray, we will record because yes. we keep finding that people keep having to like sneak out of our classes mm -hmm. on, in two-day events. Because, you know, you have a doctor's appointment that you've been waiting for six weeks for or, you know, somebody needs to get picked up from school, or it's Tuesday, and it didn't go smoothly like you intended. <laughs> um, yeah. Or you want to be able to make the projects again. So we are recording um, all our in-store classes that mm -hmm. we can. Yes. And I think that should be Ugly Christmas Sweater Day, Leah. Um, yeah. Okay. I have a really good one. I know you do. 
It's <laughs> fantastic. I might have to make two. I might have to make another one so I can have one for the next day. I just have a sassy Christmas sweater and another sassy Christmas sweater. So I might just put each one on each day. That works. It would yeah. be great. Yeah. North Pole Fantastic. trip. I'm excited for that one. That is mostly what we have for you guys today. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to sign off. If you enjoyed Two for Tuesday on Facebook and YouTube, and you want to, you know, watch again, <laughs> hit like and subscribe and notifications so you know when we go live. And shoot us a comment. We love hearing you guys. We do. We like to see what you guys are up to. If you haven't answered the question in the poll, we didn't close the poll. I, I don't, don't know how. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Tyler, can you make up the poll? And he said, yeah. Tyler closed that one. <laughs> I oh. see that. Oh. Uh, yeah. Poll is closed on YouTube. Uh, 50% said tropical nights and 50% said hot, hazy days. Mm. So two votes each way over there. I think that pretty much actually evens all of it out. Yeah. Because you'd add two there and two there. And that'd be four, three, and four. So on, on Facebook, Sand and Sea is four, Tropical Nights is one, and Hot Hazy Days is two. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, oh, there's a close results button. Oh, well then. <laughs> I think Tyler's booping buttons for us. I think he can boop the YouTube buttons, but I don't know if he can boop the, <laughs> the Facebook buttons. Okay, here, let's show results in video. That looks fun. Where does it show up? I have no idea. Me neither. <laughs> It doesn't show up there. Nope, not on our feed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's a... Uh, we'll go rewatch and figure out what happens when. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This is fun. I enjoy this. Thanks for joining us today, everybody. Uh, tomorrow, Sandy's on for Wacky Wednesday. She is making a very quick, simple project that is super useful. Um, she's making a little tiny card holder, like business card size or like debit card size um looking at the pattern she's using i'm thinking that would replace what i currently use um when i ride my bike because i don't carry my big honking wallet when i ride my bike but i do like to have my driver's license and healthcare card on me <laughs> why would you need a health care because everybody tells bicycle. me to ride safely <laughs> and i would <laughs> like i would like some money with me in case i need to like catch the bus home because it all went sideways or I had a flat tire. It's okay. <laughs> or I need snacks. <laughs> snacks is a very real possibility. <laughs> right? Plus, I'll... you might need a driver's license if you get pulled over. I should stop speeding in school zones on my bike. Probs. It's very unsafe for those children. I watch for children. I don't normally bike when school's in session. <laughs> we should end this.